you don't eat fish curry with nothing. This might be the cause of putting us into the elimination. The flavours are good. When the fish is done, come get me. We have 90 minutes to serve 120 diners. We can't even serve one diner right now, let alone 120. The fish needs to cook in the curry. Chicken and the samosas are still cooking. We haven't made yogurt, a chutney. The samosas are supposed to have a tamarind chutney, but we haven't got any time to make it. This is panicky, and we're worried yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are worried about you. I'm worried about you. Right. Uh, this is looking like panicking. Yes. Have you stuffed any samosas already? Sorry. We are, yes. We've done a few just here at the moment. Uh, this the is insane. Okay. This Which one is, is the first insane. one? We're going to do, well, it's going to be the fish curry first, then the chicken, and then the samosa. Yeah. As a captain, you need to stay calm and focused. And if you don't do that, then everyone else is going to start panicking. The mint and yogurt, yeah, the mint yogurt we're doing. Can you work on that, please? I make a decision to make a mint yogurt sauce, but I'm worried that this is going to cost us. We love these challenges, and I think we love them because of their energy. And it was a difficult one, 90 minutes before the first dish. We've all walked around those kitchens. There is a world of pain, yeah. there's a world of flexibility needed to actually get anything onto the plate. Pressure's on, it's, it's Legends Week, it's been a massive week. We've got the last legend in the house, <laughs> and uh, I want to make sure we feed him today, please. So, let's get the first dish in. Hey guys, these are pulled lamb tacos. Thank you so much, enjoy guys. I am just so amazed that we're actually getting dishes out. Our tacos look beautiful. Charred corn with chipotle mayo, thank you. The corn just looks bloody incredible. Hey guys, the beef dish is looking good. I'm gonna start sending it out. I'm really hoping that the diners and the judges feel like they're getting an authentic Mexican street food experience. Hey guys, how are you going? Good. These are pulled lamb tacos. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoy. What do you reckon on the look? Right. The look is good. I love the fact that they adapted their quesadilla and turned it into a taco because they weren't stuck. And I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, the fact that you've got one, it's a decent sized portion. Sitting on the street, you just go give me another plate of those and you'll be happy. You don't want more of that. Here we go. takes me to the streets of Mexico City. That kind of smoky fruitiness of, of great dried chili. Lamb's fantastic. A great bit of chai, a little bit of chew. I think absolutely delicious, really like that. Really nice heat, lingering heat. Good cooking of the meat and actually falls off the bone like you want it, nice and tender. A little soft tortilla and the fact that they made them all from scratch, big thumbs up. Carl and Derek had their hands all over these and they've done a brilliant job. That's 40. Great start, let's get their next dish in. Guys, charred corn with chipotle mayo. Awesome, thank you, Nicole. Oh, thanks so much. Oh. That looks all right. How good does that look? It I looks mean, amazing. You know, don't you really uh, admire simplicity, right? Yeah, great. Like, how long does it take to char corn? Those are the kind of dishes you want to have. Great. Ten out of ten. Hello. Mm. I would have been very happy if I was served that in Mexico on the streets, though. Mm -hmm. So good. I love the smokiness of the mayo. It goes so well with the char and the corn. And everything else just accentuates it, it, its sweetness and its juiciness. Does it not prove the point that you don't need to be super clever? Yeah in what you make, but you need to be super clever in how you prepare and how you plan. So the other team could be on a winning streak. Let's get the next dish in. So these are Mexican beef lettuce cups with guac and tomatillo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tomatillo, what a great idea. <laughs> they look really good. They look great. Yeah, I was worried the chili con carne. I just imagined a bowl yeah. with like beans inside. And, make like, it and look this good. looks sophisticated but simple.
This is yeah. de definitely not a disaster. But from the three, it's the least impressive. Because you've been blown away by their two dishes. Yeah, yeah I love the other two. The mince could a bit be a bit more. You got some juiciness to juiciness. it. Juiciness. Quite fried out, but I think that's what they were looking for a dry mince. But I like the guacamole, and I really like that little bit of tomatillo at the top. Yeah. It's not spectacular, but it's very solid. Absolutely. Chad Coleman, chipotle mayo. Thank you. I think the place is almost cooked. The pressure is building in the kitchen. I need more coconut cream. The yellow and blue team are sending out dishes. Keep going, you guys. You've got this. It's time for us to start taking out food. Simon, can you taste the fish? What do you think? Cooked? Yes, absolutely cooked. Cooked? OK. The fish is cooked perfectly. I'm going to start plating it now. Keep going, team. Keep pushing till the end. And then... Oh, my god. Simon, so now we have no rice to serve with fish curry. The light bulb moment came on that we hadn't put any rice on. The rice is an integral part of a dish. You don't eat fish curry with nothing. This might be the cause of putting us into the elimination. Keep going, team. Keep pushing till the end. It's not going to cook in time to serve our judges or our customers, and so we're going to have to serve the curry with that rice. There's no rice, but look, at the moment, the flavour is absolutely delicious. I'm just hoping that's enough. Coconut prawns, some crispy prawn heads, and some curry sauce. We've already fed 40 people. Only another 80 to go. Thank you. Tessa, she's serving the diners. Everybody's clearing, but somebody has to be on the stove to keep cooking. I need more eggs. I'm turning the satay. I'm getting the nasi goreng done. My sambal has to be cooked. Good end of leaf. The atmosphere in the kitchen is like Melbourne rental properties. Too many people, too little space. You're going to have to dance? No, no, no. Nah. no. Oh, Hi, everyone. Yeah, nice looking. That it looks delicious. How good is that like? That's great. So we have crispy prawn heads, coconut prawns with a curry sauce. It, it looks very good. Love it looks very good. Yeah. How good's our sauce? That is really good. And Malaysian, for sure. It's flavours of laksa, mm -hmm. creamy coconut. And then it's complex. Steph was on oh fire. Oh, my god. I've never seen anyone build pond so quickly. And made the sauce as well. So that's a cracking job by the blue team. Nice start. Tess, what do we got? Oh, we've got beef satay. Oh, no. uh... Yeah. What do you think, in terms of look, <laughs> in terms of value? That is a ripper. And a lot of meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. The yeah. only thing that I, that I would say is that meat doesn't look like it's been caramelized enough. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they haven't cooked it enough. I think they didn't do their beef justice by cutting it so big and so thick. I've just gone to bite into that, and I've got a big ripping bit of sinew running yeah. through it. And what you said, Yotam, there's no caramelization No caramelization. There. I mean, that's the beauty of our satay, isn't it? Yeah. Given more time in the pan, that sauce would be beautiful, because I think the balance of sweetness, the spice flavors in there, it's generous. There's loads of familiar flavors of peanuts and spicing. And so I think it'll be a crowd pleaser. I don't necessarily think it'll be a critic pleaser. Right. Right, we'll get the next dish in. Nazi is becoming sticky, sorry. I really don't want to be that guy who tracked the team into elimination tomorrow. I hope we sail through this. Nasi goreng for you with a side of sambal. So the egg ended up inside? Unfortunately, push for time. The egg's inside, yep. Straight away, it's a bit risotto-ish. There's no separation in the rice. I think it's a bit claggy. The rice is overcooked, number one. 
And this is more like a risotto, which is a shame. And the sambal's not cooked out enough. The sambal feels like chopped tomatoes with a bit of chili. Sure. Yeah. Because the rice doesn't have any texture, they have to kind of incorporate the egg inside. You're feeling like you're having a mush. It's a total missed opportunity, because when you think of those, those coconut prawns, they were totally delicious. It's one win, one draw, and one really embarrassing loss. Right, let's get the final team's food in. We're finally getting plates out. Can I get that yogurt, please, now? Yep, it's here. Everyone's working really well together now. Coming through hot. We're actually having fun. Oh, hot. <laughs> Beautiful. Anushka has done an amazing job pumping out these crispy samosas. These smell beautiful. Yeah. They thank smell you. so good. Thank you. Thank you, darling. We're serving customers thick and fast, and you can see they're happy. I just hope the judges are too. How are Simon. we? Tandoori chicken, minted yogurt on one side, and a little bit of extra tandoori spice on the right. Thank you very much. Uh, the presentation is a bit disappointing. You know when you're using coriander like that, we just, you know, it's just like you're trying to cover something up, which is a bit of a worry. On the upside, love the char and the chicken, and the chicken is still quite juicy. Yeah. I think the chicken is good, but the sauces are a massive miss. That yogurt is its not really a tzatziki, and it's yeah. not really a raita. And it's so salty. Oh, that's really salty. Yeah. Interesting start. Let's get the next dish in. All right. Vegetarian samosas done by Nushka. And the good thing, you've got all that, you know, the little kind of bubbles, the pastry looks short. Actually. It tastes good. They looked a little gnarly, but they actually worked really well. The dough's good too. Yeah. You get that little hit yeah. of cumin or ajwan in there, which is delicious. You really want to make sure that you don't forget all the rest. The temptation is to cook something really sophisticated, and then everybody loses, because we do want a chutney or yeah. a really, really good minty yeah. sauce. And this is just the sauce they used in the other dish. It's certainly not a disaster like the blue team's rice. Yeah. Right, let's get the green team's final dish in. Round three, it's the South Indian fish curry. Cauliflower as well. Simon, were you intending to serve rice with this? Rice was going to be the plan to be served with it. The difficulty was we just ran out of time, so we didn't get the rice in. Thank you. Thank you. Gee, they've been in trouble with Green Team, haven't they? But really, you know, this is the third dish, and on every single one, really, there's been something missing. don't have rice, but the flavors here are good. But at least you've got a nice spice mix, you've got coconut, you've got curry leaves, all kind of, you know, South Indian, which is great. Cooking the fish, beautiful. Yeah. On the whole, this is probably the best dish out of the three. I feel exhausted. Let's go, guys. This is our final dish, final service. In terms of a winning team, we're not looking for that. Yeah. But Yellow team, they would get it hands down. Yeah. I think they've done three great dishes that have definitely got Mexican theme to them. Oh, yeah. And, and they've, they've fed people in. You look around, people are wrapped. Guys, that's it, we're done! Yay! I think the really interesting debate is between the green team and the blue team. Absolutely. You know, blue team, one great dish, one okay dish, one total disaster. Meaning the rice. The rice. Thank you, bye. Diners seem to be really happy with the food. We've had people come oh, past and so say much. thanks so much. It was beautiful. So that's music to my ears, and I hope that it's we've done enough.